Hello everyone. I am Ranjim. Topic for my presentation is Sanskrit. So Sanskrit is basically combination of two words that is sun and screen. Sun consists of different rays that are visible rays, infrared rays, ultraviolet rays. Whereas screen is a protection that we get from the sun rays. Table of contents include introduction, history, classification, formula, analysis, measurement, new types of sunscreens, banned sunscreen in 2022, and references. Sunscreen is a substance that helps protect the skin from the sun's harmful rays. Sunscreen reflect, absorb, and scatter both ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B radiation to provide protection against both types of radiation. Here, ultraviolet A radiation is of longer wavelength, whereas ultraviolet B radiation is of shorter wavelength. Ultraviolet A radiation causes skin aging, whereas ultraviolet B radiation is very harmful for the skin as it can cause cancer and various diseases. The wavelength of ultraviolet A is uh, uh, 315 to 400 nanometer whereas the wavelength of ultraviolet B radiation is 280 to 350 nanometer. Using lotions, creams or gels that contain sunscreens can help protect the skin from premature aging and damage that may lead to skin cancer. These are some of the sunscreens in India that are used by various people. Now history of sunscreen. The first ultraviolet B filters were produced in 1928 followed by the first sunscreen invented in Australia by chemist H.A. Milton Blake. In 1932 formulating with the UV filter cell oil at a concentration of 10%. Early adopters of sunscreen were the U.S. military. In 1944, as the hazards of sun overexposure become apparent to soldiers stationed in the Pacific tropics at the height of World War II. Water-resistant sunscreen were introduced in 1977. Now, classification of sunscreens. Sunscreens are classified into two parts, topical and systemic. Topical sunscreen are the sunscreen that are applied on the skin of the topical region, whereas systemic sunscreens are the sunscreen that are given to a systemic region. Topical sunscreen are further classified into inorganic and organic. Inorganic ingredients are zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, kaolin, talc, calamine, whereas organic is further classified into three broad parts that are UVA, UVB and broad spectrum. These are classified on the basis of their radiation. Like uh, the ingredients present in UVA uh, will provide protection against the UVA radiation. The ingredients that are present in UVB will provide protection against the UVB radiation. Whereas broad spectrum will provide the protection against both UVA and UVB radiation. So protection will be provided from UVA and UVB, both the radiation in broad spectrum. Now formula of sunscreen. In, these are the ingredients that are mainly present in the sunscreens. And in the next column, there are the uses that are specified with the ingredients that are used in the sunscreen. These are the most common ingredients used in sunscreens. Titanium dioxide, avobenzone, zinc oxide, octisalate, oxybenzone, homosalate. Analysis of sunscreen. These are the various parameters that are used for the analysis of sunscreen. Physical analysis. It includes organoleptic tests to observe changes in the color and presence of phase separation in the product. Stability test. 
color phase separation liquefaction there should be no color changes not separation of phase and sunscreen formulation in the stability test if they are to pass the quality tests the absence of liquefaction provides strong evidence for the stability of the emulsions these tests should ascribe to the international committee of harmonization that is ich q1a to q1f ph determination over time the ph value of sunscreen stored at different conditions is determined using a digital ph meter the pH tests are repeated for multiple emulsions for formulation after a determined period of storage. Ideal pH is around 6.0, which approximates the average pH of the skin. pH changes indicate the accurate of chemical reactions that indicate the quality of the final product. Microbiological stability. Sunscreens, like other topical formulation, must be free from any microbial contamination that may render them uh, deleterious to the users. Measurement of the effectiveness of sunscreen. Sun protection factor. SPF is a measure of how much solar energy is required to produce sunburn on protected skin. Related to the amount of solar energy required to produce sunburn on unprotected skin. As the SPF value increases, sunburn protection increases. This is the formula to measure the effectiveness of sunscreen. SPF 50 admits 1 by 15th and so on. Sunscreens need to be applied liberally to achieve the SPF protection claimed on the label. No sunscreen will give 100% protection from UV radiation. It's not a suit of armor. Interestingly, SPF 50 offers only marginally better protection from UV radiation than SPF 30, filtering out 98% of UV radiation compared to 96.7% blocked by SPF 30. SPF 15 block 93% of UVB rays. SPF 30 blocks 97% of UVB rays. SPF 50 blocks 98% of UVB rays. So it is preferred to use SPF 50 as it blocks 98% of UVB rays. So now SPF number. This is the simplest method to uh, get the number of protection duration that we are getting from the SPF. Like suppose uh, if someone is using SPF 30. So how to calculate the duration of protection uh, a person is getting protected from this particular SPF. So uh, for SPF 30, the 30 will be multiplied in 10. That will be 300. So it will be 300 minutes that that the uh, SPF will provide protection from the sun rays. So for uh, like this for every SPF like from SPF 15, SPF 50 for different SPF uh, this is the simplest method to calculate uh, the protection that we are getting from the sunscreen that we are using. Various benefits of using sunscreens Delays premature signs of aging Maintains the look and texture of your skin Maintains the brightness of your natural complexion Inhibits hyperpigmentation like sunspots Helps protect against skin cancer These are the classification of SPF Ranging from 2 to SPF 50 according to the protection that is provided by the sunscreen. Persistent pigment darkening. This measure establishes the ability of the sunscreen to provide against UVA light. The method of determination is similar to that of establishing SPF detailed above. 
The level of protection is expressed as the UVA protection factor and expressed as the ratio between the minimal dose required to induce pigmentation in the protected skin and the MPD absorbed on the unprotected skin and is calculated as given below. This is the formula of calculation of uh, UVA protection factor. Immune protection factor. The term immune protection factor refers to the ability of sunscreen products to prevent UV induced immunosuppression. IPF is assisted by complex methods mm. such as the ability of a sunscreen to inhibit either the sensitization mm. or elicitation arms of contact or delayed time mm. hypersensitivity reactions to allergens such as. DNCB and nickel respectively. IPF is considered to correlate better with the UVA protectiveness of sunscreen than with its SPF. These are the new types of sunscreens, antioxidant sunscreen, sunscreen by mouth, glitter sunscreen. Sunscreen also comes in what look like a white cream can and comes out yes in a wiped formula of course it's not at all aesthetics the water resistant vegan spf 30 feels ultra light and comfortable while using free of oxybenzone oxytinoxate pg and parabens it hydrates too with coconut oil aloe vera banana extract sea oil and vitamin e these are the sunscreens that were banned in 2022. Thank you.